Good morning, sword friends. Thanks for joining me today. I thought we would take a quick look at this custom sword that I found on eBay, used from a company called Jeku, and this is a custom old katana, long, big sword for cutting tameshigiri. Beautiful, interesting blade I thought you and I could take a look at together. So if you have a couple minutes, join me please. Okay, now that we have a closer look, this was labeled on eBay as a custom Hira Zukuri Katana. And he called it an O Katana for cutting Tameshigiri, which he had custom made from Jeku, which is a company that's been around since about 2006. And they are well known for making Japanese and Chinese swords. They are based in China. The handle of the sword, the ska, is 12 inches long which is a good decent size for cutting. And the entire length of the sword is 47 inches in length. The kashira here is a simple iron shape. It's very simple. It's like a dull metal here, no design. The collar, which is called the fuchi, also is a simple iron design. I was told that the suba is made of iron as well and I'll show you a close up of that. I love the different shapes in here and I love the cutouts. That's a very unique design, very interesting. The battle wrap here has Manuki, which are dragons. There's one there and one on the other side. The wrap to me looks like kind of a fairly cheap black cotton. As you can see from all the wear of cutting, it's starting to fray a little bit. It is very tightly woven and the Samagawa is black. I did take this sword apart and I'll show you here. It was fairly easy to disassemble. It was written on there that this is a T10 steel, very good quality. The Saya scabbard here is black with this gold kind of crackle effect. That is a really interesting look. I always like that because I don't like the plain black. So as you can see here, it almost looks like dragon scales or reptilian skin. Very interesting. Kurigata is the same here, the wood. Shitodo may look like plastic, but what I like is they are actually glued in. A lot of swords don't come with these glued in. The sageo is very different than the wrapping here. So the ito wrapping I find to be fairly cheap, but tight, which is good. This could be silk here, this cord. I'm not sure, but it's black and it looks actually higher quality than the actual wrapping on the handle. The end of the scabbard, the kojiri here is the same. Looks like that spackle of gold and black. What I like about this Saya is it's not going to show dings and nicks as easily because it's quite busy looking. Let's turn on this scale here. The sword itself is about just over three pounds. And the sword without the Saya is about 2.1 pounds. I do notice that the sword is very beautifully fit to the Saya. It's one of the best I have ever felt as far as tightness here. It starts to get tight right about there and just slides in smoothly. There's no catch. It can be drawn quickly, but it's also quite held in, so it's not going to fall out if it tips. It is a this is an absolutely beautiful fitting Saya. Removing the blade, as you can see, there is a distal taper here. What is interesting about this sword is this is a Hira Zukuri. Now, Zukuri is just a fancy word for the make, what type of sword it is. The Hira Zukuri does not have a ridge line. The ridge line is called a Shinogi. This particular sword, as you can see, is flat. That's what Hira means. There is no ridge line here, all the way up to the Kasaki, the tip. As you can see, there's no ridge line, and this is typical of a short Tanto blade. This is actually a Tanto blade style. And this might be better for cutting or piercing because without the Shinogi ridge line, in theory, it should go through targets slightly easier. The Niku, which is the thickness of the blade, as you can see, is thinner here. 
This is a typical katana shape, and you can see here is the ridge line, the shinogi, this line that goes up, all the way to the yokote, which is this line here, and this is the kasaki, the tip. So these lines here, as you can see, this blade is a bit thicker, the niku, the thickness is more, so the geometry of this has a different purpose in cutting. Going back to this sword, it does not have a ridge line, and there's no yokute there, therefore making this kasaki much larger, which is what they would call an old kasaki, a big tip here, very good for piercing and armor. So which blade style do you prefer? Well, there's much more than two. There's seven, eight, maybe even nine different types here. One of them has a ridge line, one does not. They have different thicknesses, they have different shapes. A lot of these nowadays would just be the customer's preference. Which do you like? Which cuts better? When I cut Tameshigiri, which I will in the spring, I have a feeling that this one's going to cut better than that one would. So this T10 steel here, this particular blade, is designed literally for competitive cutting. This is much heavier than your standard katana, and I would compare this to a European longsword. The reason I call this O katana, because O means large or big, is because it's a very, as you can see, a very, very, very long and heavy blade with very little friction, so it's going to go through the target beautifully. So to draw it out, this flat, this kind of hirazukuri blade kind of looks like this. That's kind of the shape, if you can see that. And the shinogi would be straight here, and here would be the ridge line, and then it would go and taper down to the blade edge, the ha here. Can you see the difference how this is just one angle down? Very simple, and this has a couple more angles on it. So this is the Hira Zukuri, and again Zukuri just means the make, it's a flat make. And this is a Shinogi Zukuri, or a ridge line sword. This particular style is far more typical. This is more common for shorter knives, such as the Tanto. I find both of these, if the blade is sharp, are going to cut really well. But I'm curious to see if the Hira Zukuri will cut even better because it has less resistance. This custom sword, of course, is razor sharp, goes right through paper. Can't wait to cut with this when the weather is warmer. You can see that beautiful Hamon line with this T10 steel polished really well, at least on the Hamon. Can you see that cloud pattern? How beautiful is it? This is a long, long sword. So this Tachi is like a 27 inch blade. And this one is nearly three feet long, somewhere between 35 and 36 inches. You can see the length, how much longer that one is to get tremendous cutting power and leverage out in front of you. And one more look at that Hamon. You and I both appreciate the beauty of these, the aesthetics of it, the power, and the respect for these beautiful weapons. My students always say, Mr. Norcross, don't you have enough swords? No. <laughs> So that's a quick look at the Jeku Custom Sword. You can go on their website, I'll put the link below. Please be careful when you take these out and use them or look at them. Make sure no kids, people, or pets are around and don't swing these randomly. Thank you for watching everybody. Have a great night or day wherever you live. I do appreciate your time. Thanks.